Are we ready? Let's go. This is my dream. This is a dream. I'm gonna cry today, let me tell you. Are we excited? Hello there! Dr. J. We are nestled on 200 acres of forest. You'll see how some of the enclosures have changed over time. We figured out what worked, what didn't work. Um, you know, why do some of our outdoor habitat, why do we have habitats, why do we have some of these smaller enclosures. We work for the chimps, you know, so it's going to be highly up to them whether or not they're going to interact. They make their own decisions. Exactly, right. So that's amazing because when you see this, like, it's not like a zoo, this is a sanctuary, right? So they have the option of coming in here, but it's been raining, so they don't want to be outside, honey. They a lot like us, so they decided to be inside, but they can go out whenever they want to, which is amazing. What I love so much about this already, so this is their freedom after research. See their food? Cabbage, lettuce, bananas. So in captivity, they're living longer. In the wild, they're dead in their 30s. Well here, they're living well into their 60s, early 70s. Every one of our buildings now has its own dedicated clinic so that we don't have to worry about shifting animals from location to location. We can just have them and then just bring them in um, to be able to do their things. They have a lot of similarities to people. Like some of them just stand off and she's like, I don't want to mess with you. I have some down there that still look at me like, man, no. <laughs> yeah. Because you also don't know what they've been through, right? Like if they were in the wild when they were babies, if they saw their parents be murdered by humans. Right, like, and that is still there, so they have a trust issue with humans, even if you're good to them. Like, like us, yeah. we all have been through things and we don't know what our triggers are until the trigger happens. Right. And so they're so, you know, like us in that way. Has working with them changed how you think or see other human beings? I would say for me, yes, just because of what us have said and that we don't necessarily know what some of their research histories are. Yeah. And to see them come here and still be able to develop relationships with us and develop relationships with each other, it's just made me realize that maybe I can be a little more forgiving. It just shows you how to be able to have empathy in a different type of way. You know, for those who particularly can't communicate, you know, with voices. Right, exactly. Yeah. And that's for people as well, you know, and so. Where I have a heart for animals, I also have a heart for people. Y'all, this has been amazing. My heart is full. I'm just excited about this experience. Like, this is going to live with me forever. And thank now. you to Dr. J and to Dr. Cole. Coleman. Yes. <laughs> if you'd like to give, if you'd like to just learn more about Chimp Haven, you can see us at www.chimphaven.org. Beautiful. Didn't you love it, brother? I love it. And I got to take, take one home with me. Oh. <laughs> Look, they're going about y'all business, honey, and uh, have a good day. But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's here. We got to go now because we got to go back home and things. <laughs>